Right, so we won't say anything about three, the time. Three, two, one, yeah. intro. Hello. <laughs> Am I introing? Yeah. I thought you said he's. You said he's introing. No, Fight for it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to nineteen point three. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> damn it, I didn't want to curse. All right, so how this, how, when did that you do it? That was twice. The, okay. Yeah. When Is did Dan you do it curse? the first time? All right, I did this Friday morning. All right, about, let me do it. You're much better at this. No, I'm just kidding, you go. <laughs> All right, thank All right. you for everybody who's stuck around so Yeah, long. if you guys have stuck around this long, you guys We're are true fans. We're turning into a Jacob Hepner video. <laughs> oh, no. Take seven already. Redo. <laughs> Travis versus Trevor versus Timmy the Toolman this week. You gotta guess which one is which. All right, so this week we did three attempts. Friday morning was 9.51. I mean we. We. Well, we're kind of a team. Yeah. You did it all. I did, just sat there and watched. Accurate. <laughs> I got to participate as a fan. Yes. All right. You had a job Fine. of telling me which Trav- to step over. Travis did the workout three times. 9.51 Friday morning. Why'd you do it Friday night? The energy in our gym was just really high. We probably had 50, 60 people in there just doing the workout and then just kind of stayed and the hung around. The probably doesn't know that you own and coach at a gym. Oh, well. I do own CrossFit Passion, which is this facility we are in, which is then inside. Training, training Think Tank, tank is, is pretty inside. much inside of my gym. Uh-huh. So you were coaching Friday Night Lights. So I was coaching Friday Night Lights. Everybody was hyped. And in the middle of it, I got fired up before about the last two was about to go, and I just told Brandy, I said, I'm going to do it now. And she was like, what are you talking about? I said, I just need to do the workout now. Ended up doing it eight hours later or so. Ended up at 9.05. And then Monday morning, we are now back here, then did it for the third Word on time. the streets is you had two slices of pizza and some cookie cake. I actually did have two pieces of Pizza Hut and a slice of cookie cake. No joke, probably 35 minutes before I did that on Friday night. All right, and now we're about to see if his third attempt is better than Trevor's second attempt. Roll that beautiful beam footage. Pew, pew, pew! And your last he shall he grow. It might be all I take. Show me love, show me love, show me love. Boom, Action. and we're off. 19.3. Man, you were lunging at light speed relative to your first attempt. Yeah. Yeah, so the first attempt, it was really just sloppy kind of the whole time. Nothing yeah. really felt smooth or crisp relative to the box step ups. We weren't sure on the standard if you could step up on the corner. So we played it safe and stepped up on the front, as you'll find out here in a minute. Yeah. In, um, in hindsight, I think this was a mistake on our part, not taking more time for you to get your rhythm set up so that Trav told me, like, a second before the workout, he's like, hey, can you just count my feet? For, tell me what foot to step up with each time. So that it sounds like an easy task, but it's actually really difficult because when you're watching the feet, you see him come up, then he's standing on top of the box coming down. You're like, oh, crap, what foot was he on? So it's just as easy for me to forget as the person Especially going. Especially when there's pressure and you know how important it is yeah, to, yeah, to he's, not mess that up. Yeah, <laughs> So and there were two incidences where... It's like not turning the camera on to record. I didn't oh, do that. I'm oh, that's no. crazy. Oh, when did I not do that? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm or just the kidding. audio. Yeah, the audio. audio. Oh, okay. Man, if you want the yeah. buttery bread, go get the buttery bread. <laughs> Hebert and Mars, they're good dudes. Man, they're you are best. way ahead. You're already 25 foot ahead. Yeah, so. Yeah. So the first attempt, really, this is just highlighting not, not a top 20 in the world level of performance. And all. we knew it right after it happened, but you'll see, like, it's not really that bad of an execution. It's just when you lose a little bit of time, you can't compete with the best in the world. So we knew it. And I think I that's mean, I'm really already five or six box step up in box step up in. Yeah, and you could box just see his foot. I think he slowed down here. and messed it up worse. Box step up in. Box step up in. Yeah, here yeah, it is. See, so you can already foot. see the stutter yeah. on the right left side that yeah. I cannot get the rhythm. And then some people were saying yeah. step further back away from the box. It kind of helps. And then on the right side, no one said anything. I just played around with it for maybe five more minutes after we finished this workout, and it was much easier. Yeah. And you don't have to think about it. I just kind of didn't question it and just kind of kept moving. And I'm fumbling with the dumbbell. Yeah. Yeah. And even like if you watch the rhythm, watch how both feet on the left hand or on his first attempt, they kind of like stay up on the box, and then he steps off, and where his rhythm is like. Shift his weight to his other foot, foot back down. Man, I look like an amateur in that one. 
<laughs> Look at that. But relative to this. So is that Timmy would, the Tool Man? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. T I feel Timmy's like Timmy pretty, the Tool Man is like a precise carpenter who comes yeah, in and like does his work precise. really methodically. So legit. I think he's he's Trevor is the emotional version of Travis that gets fired up and performs well. Timmy is the one who's a professional athlete who gets things done the way he's supposed to, and Travis is the the, the one clearly on the left that doesn't know what. The, I mean, that's when he I watches look ridiculous. <laughs> I don't like, I haven't even watched this video, and yeah. I don't think I knew I was redoing this. Travis, we're not after. allowed to let you self deprecate. I'm not. Because then people are going to say, I'm a bad coach. No, for no, this is all on me. Years. I look ridiculous <laughs> for all of you watching. The one on the left, play with the technique first. Yeah. Get the rhythm down. Don't just start the workout. Yeah, this was actually my where normally I watch Travis go, it's like at least a nine out of 10 overall execution with little details. And it's like, well, not many people in the world can do this, even if the best in the world might beat it. But this was the first workout that actually integrated thoughts from his bad execution into my second thoughts video. Yeah, like, because, what yeah, am see, I like doing? That, that was where we had the, <laughs> oh, that was oh I wish we could have rewound. So <laughs> in the middle of it, Max said left. I swore he said left, right. but Handstand maybe he didn't. Started. And he says, he said, right. So then I pause and he goes, no, right, right, right. By the way, right. I'm just going to ignore you. Did right. you see how fast Chris just ran through the screen? It was almost light speed. Oh, I didn't it was see like, it. I've done the open the past there. two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Full preparation. Man, you are way ahead. Yeah. You're already like probably 10 or 15 handstand push ups. I think in. that was the second set. So I went 10 5 both times. So 15 ahead. Yeah. And, and then I'm telling people ahead. to move the box. Yeah. For my other video setup, oh man, yeah. just it's been nice this year. People who are doing the open who don't care about filming, so I could just walk wherever I want. It's so mm, nerve wracking. Yeah. Like, am I standing in the way yeah. of the camera? Yeah, please don't yeah. be standing in the way of the camera. Yeah, yeah. So there's pretty much just my camera and Chris's camera. The only ones kind of going. Mine's at a different angle, but yeah. So pretty much for me, I knew this workout was going to be handstand push-ups into handstand walking. Usually, handstand push-ups aren't too bad for me strict wise so I kind of just wanted to kick up do a big set once I feel any sort of fatigue or slowing down just hop right off and then try every five to eight seconds after that try to kick back up and do five to six somewhere in that ballpark since you're gonna have like another two minutes of just, just kicking up onto of, a wall yeah where's your head at right now relative to the open uh, I'm pretty excited for where I'm sitting I mean we're three weeks in there's still a lot left but I mean, the first two tests that came out were pretty good, and I was happy with how I performed on each of those that I feel like I executed. Where were you sitting after two weeks? Fourth in the world. Is What's your prediction? the highest you've been after two weeks, you think? What? Is that the highest you've been after two weeks since you've been doing I don't know. My best yeah. ever is third in the world. Yeah. So. What's your prediction on where you'll be after this? I think I might move up. So you'll be third, second? No, I don't know. I really... I can't just I can't say because I don't know how these other people are no, gonna no, perform. No, no, that's on what it, the prediction's all about. Uh, we want to know. I'd say top three. Top three. All right. top yeah, three, I top think three, top three. I think the point spread for some of the people behind me is gonna close a little bit relative to my time from some of the fastest times we know. Um, but I so think overall, I'm happy with how this performance was. And do you think the Fraser's the just letting you win because he's already confirmed his spot? Uh, definitely not. Yeah, I doubt it. Not a chance. M the real question is, has it been an inspiration for you to watch your coach perform these oh. on Saturday? <laughs> and your video oh, yeah. on Monday? The first, oh, yeah. the first one, I was legitimately impressed. Yeah, and then... The second <laughs> one... <laughs> I blew up. You went a little aggressive. I thought you would have done better on your... Uh, Third set of Toaster Bar? Yeah. Yeah. But hey. then this one... I mean, I don't really know what to tell you. All right, well, I mean, you're just a big man just doing some straight gymnastics, yeah. you know? He did pretty good. Man. You did do good. pretty well. My time, my time I break. I really was thought you were going to beat Brandy, so you kind of let me down from that side. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I did my best. I never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull that back and put it back in. All right, man, so I am I, way behind. We don't have yet. Yeah, you well, you beat this guy, this Trump on the left. You beat him by almost a minute. Yeah. Oh. In man. your second attempt. That's true. Even from the Friday to Friday yeah. attempt, there was about a minute improvement. Yeah, you went 951, 905, so it would be nice to know where Trevor is right Should now. Should I? It's not on the screen y'all are watching. Should I just cut in your. Or maybe we could chop in just like the handstand walk at the end because they should be really close to one another. I might just right put now. a picture in picture in there. 
Okay. We'll see. All right, that's fine. Yeah, so pretty much at this point, for me, the, a lot of the workout just came down to this point. Handstand walking has always been something we've kind of worked on and Especially tried to improve, and this was a perfect test for being under fatigue and kind of seeing how it feels. I mean, and clearly on the left, your... I'm walking way faster, no. I would say. No, I mean, you're already on your third pass. Yeah, third pass, and your speed was a little faster. Hopefully yeah. you kick up around the same time. Yeah, pretty All right, close. So you're one step ahead on the right-hand side. Let's see. But yeah, at this point, I mean, my body was kind of, today, a little more fatigued than it was Friday, both attempts. But yeah. I mean, you just kind of suck it up and go for it because every little second matters in this new format that you can't, you can't give up those extra points because at the end of five weeks, you might need that to qualify. Yeah. The, uh, I think the big thing, I mean, at this level, Travis is, has done so much handstand walking under fatigue in every single type of fatigue. And we've done speed intervals to try to make him like faster in 25 feet segments, which has made so much progress. But the likelihood of him coming back and any sort of a repeat in this format and actually walking on his hands faster is low. Like you're not just gonna automatically get that. So his major focus, what was it? Six second breaks you wanted to keep him to? Yeah, like six to eight seconds. Six to eight, eight seconds. Keep it around that. Yeah. I know some of those definitely are not accurate, but. But that's a target. I mean, you go into it with a target, whether or not it's like you can hold it, that's just a matter of executing, but it's good to have I it. will admit these. Uh, and that was it. He's done. <laughs> those uh, white shoes, I feel like make me look tanner for sure. So, your third attempt was better. My third attempt was better. So who and was at this who? point, I looked back and said, well, that, yeah. what? So who was who? Which video was what? Well, I think we're going to say Travis, Timmy the Tool Man, Travis, <laughs> as my wife would say. No, I feel like, so no matter what, you have to put in the Nest Cam footage of Travis celebrating after his evening attempt because that is where Trevor came from. Yeah. It's not necessarily how he performs, it's just the, <laughs> the rage raw in <laughs> rage inside that comes out every once in a while. Yeah, what were you feeling? Excitement, happy, proud. I heard you gave a speech, what'd you say? Right. Oh, I just told all my members I was proud of them for kind of everything that they do. Like they always think that it's like the other way around that I inspire them, but I'm like watching them do it, getting their first strict handstand push-ups, getting their first five feet handstand walking, like, that's still motivational for me because I see them every day and work with them. So for me, that like fired me up and the energy was really high and I've never done this in the past where I've felt so good that I was like, I'm just gonna go into it immediately again. And it just kind of happened. I was like, I need to do this now for some reason. It just kind of like took over and I just went after it and was, I was pretty fired up. I mean, I did maybe five strict handstand pushups, lunged one time and I was like, I'm ready. Like the adrenaline just took over and Trevor Usually, yeah, the rage, the rage came out a lot on that one. Yeah. Um, so there's been like four workouts ever that Travis has been that fired up. And that's where the like the joking name came from. But I'd say this one was Timmy the Tool Man because it was just methodical. Even when yeah. you finished, you were like, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> All that work for five seconds. Yeah. Uh, we had a good laugh about it. But the time. No, it's over, man. No, but they don't know the time. How do they not know the time? The time's the gonna time, be on the, the screen. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> Get off this camera. <laughs> Beep. Uh, so yeah, we do have Trevor shirts. We'll work on some Timmy the Tool Man shirts so we can yeah. milk all the money out of you as we can. Hey, I yeah. just did build some new wainscoting in my house and a new chair rail. Yeah, I feel and like we else. do so need there to is, get it. That is Timmy the Tool Man. Yeah. I really do like doing that. Yeah, you are Timmy. I, when I'm doing this, I'm probably gonna flip homes or something, you know? That's gonna be my next journey. Let's stay present. Let's just finish. Well, I'm let's just talking. Let's talk to the fans. Let's finish the open. And yeah, we got two more weeks out. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace up. Eight town down. Word to the bird. <laughs> See, look, good thing we finished that with seven minutes to spare. Oh, it's a 10 minute video. All right, no, Project okay. Pat, over to you. It's a wrap, you know what I'm saying? Your boy Project Pata in this thing, man. Hey, look, man, thank y'all for watching Train Think Tank YouTube channel. Y'all hit that motherfucking subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? So y'all go ahead, man. Thank y'all for watching the channel, you know what I'm saying? Hit that motherfucking subscribe button. Let it be known what it be known what it be known, you know what I'm saying? Pata.